Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you record macros, they are attached to the workbook in which you create them by default. When a workbook that contains macros is open, the macros attached to it are available for use by all open workbooks. However, once you close the workbook to which the macro is attached, it is no longer available for use by other workbooks. To remedy this, Excel provides a personal macro workbook as a place to which you can store macros which you want to be universally accessible by all open workbooks on your computer. The personal macro workbook is a workbook that opens every time that you open Excel. However, it is a hidden workbook so you do not normally see it and very many people aren't even aware that it exists. However, you can store your macros here to make them available to all open workbooks on your PC. Since the personal macro workbook is always open and always hidden, it's always usable by all other open workbooks at that computer. To save a macro into the personal macro workbook, you need to select personal macro workbook from the store macro in dropdown that's available within the record macro dialog box. Then the macro that you record will be stored to that workbook. Now once you've stored macros into your personal macro workbook, you will need to unhide the workbook to edit or delete the macros that are found in it. To hide and unhide the personal macro workbook, you must click the hide or unhide buttons that are found in the Windows group on the View tab in the ribbon. Now if you click the unhide button, after you've saved at least one macro to the personal macro workbook, you'll be presented with the unhide dialog box. To unhide the personal macro workbook, select the personal file and then click the OK button. You will then see the personal macro workbook appear. You can then edit or delete any macros that are saved to that workbook by using the macro dialog box. Now when you're finished, make sure that you still have the personal macro workbook displayed and then click the hide button that appears in the window group on the view tab in the ribbon to hide the personal macro workbook again. Always remember to hide the personal macro workbook when you're done editing or deleting its macros to ensure that the workbook doesn't get deleted accidentally. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.